I'm out here looking I got my first find I can tell what it is it was in the mud here or sandy mud it's a hoopwell bladelet man I got my gloves on look at this it's a translucent piece of flint ridge it's a little bladelet knife these things are as sharp as a sur surgeon's scalpel but look it almost glows um, I'll show it on cleanup. I just picked this up on the first beach I walked in on. Um, I'll get back. It looks good. The water went down fast. I'll get back if I see anything else. Alright, I told you I'd show you this bladelet. Um, this is a purposely made tool. It's called a lancet. L-A-N-C-E-T. You can read, type that in. Lancet. An Indian artifact into like Google and read about it. This would have been struck off a core and you can see the sharp edge on it. It's like a little, eh, like an ancient exacto knife. Could have been hafted into a little handle. You could fillet a fish, do all kinds of stuff with that. Now look at the material. Look how translucent that stuff is. It's jewel grade Flint Ridge Flint, which outcrops at Flint Ridge State Park in Central Ohio. And I'm hours from the source of this. Um, I found some breaking hoopwell points in where I found this, and this is what it is. It would it's like a blade making technology, an ancient one. But you can read more about it online. It's I could just slice my finger open with that. But that's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> I'm just surface hunting now. I look in all this rock and but I just picked this up. That would have been a heck of a nice salt bleach crock because it's all busted up. There's lots of them busted in this spot. Should have brought my mow detector. The water's way down. Look at that. Can't really tell what's on it, but that would have been look at all the lettering on that man. You see coming through here, there's a base of a crock. Look at all this burn up rock. There's old brick. There's a real old brick. There's another piece of pottery. There's another, there's more bricks. This is a site where you can see there's another piece of a salt glaze crock right there. Um, this looks pretty good. See, there's more shards right there. This would be great to mow detect. I'll come mow detect it this fall. See, little pieces of blue glass. Here's another piece of a crock right here. Piece of stoneware, more brick right there. This looks good, that's for sure. But anyway, I'll get back behind anything nice. This is kind of a cool artifact. I found them on this site before like this, but way nicer. This one's average, but that's a pestle. That's all rubbed down. Just picked that up and used that to grind stuff. That end, you can see it. There isn't any doubt, but it's just an average one, but it's still cool. Laid up. All right, there's a tip with a needle tip on it, but it's all blown apart. That would have been nice. I'm on a different site now. Um, there's a flake right there. I found a triangle over here, like, I don't know, a week and a half ago, two weeks, laying out in the tip off a real translucent point. But I find bottles here. I'll show you, I have a few broken ones back here. See, there's more glass right here, it's busted. But I found some really nice old bottles here, all of it's blown glass. Thought I might as well come over, see, there's more glass. Every once in a while, I'll just walk up on a real awesome bottle. See, there's a base off something old right there. 
I'll get back if I see any points or anything like that, anything worth filming. See, there's purple glass right there. Looks like a base off a of purple mason. Uh, salt glazed crock right there. Oh, fakes, I see. Oh, fakes, live find. Live find. Look at this drill. Folks, I did it. I've been out here for hours walking around and haven't found anything good. And I just got it live. I knew I should come over here. This looks off, fix it's a Madison drill. Let me get my glove off so I can wash it off. Hold on. This is the first live find I've got airhead hunt for a while. I wasn't expecting this. I was just showing you this glass and look right beside it. There's a base off a really old beer. All the stuff's blown here. I can't find where it's at in the bank, but once I do, I'm gonna be on it. I don't care as much about the bottles, um, but let me, I'll pick that up. I was just kind of looking around here to see, see how good this looks. Let's pick this up. This is a daymaker. It's a beautiful Madison made into a drill. All right, I found a Madison over here last time. That is nice. That's a real nice. Nice little drill fix. All right, I did it. And I got that blade lit in that pestle. See, there's a piece of a crock. It's got a real early looking glaze on it. This looks excellent. I'll get back if I see anything else. Yeah, there's the blade I showed. But this, this drill's nice. I don't have many Madison drills, and that's what it is. The material's typical. And I just found my last Madison point on that site. That's nice. That's worth the trip. <laughs> Later, big. old glass look at this blown cork bottle look at the neck on that thing i would have liked to had that and then right here beside it you know that looks like it has a that might be newer i don't think it is i think it might be a stopper in it that's a newer bottle but that's sick look at that thing I'm not seeing one with a neck that long that would have been awesome good for a minute but it's busted. See what I mean? That's balloon too. Some kind of little corker. It was probably embossed on the other side. It's got a real long neck on it. Man, there's old glass in here. I wanted to show you that. See how good this looks. It's, I'm just not, there's not much laying on the base clay and there's just old glass everywhere. And there's Indian artifacts, which makes it just doubly as good. That looks like a little nutting stand. It's got some little peck holes in it here. But I found this site um, in my kayak, and now I just rode to it. I'm going to put the kayak in again, the motorized one, and get that on. But it's been so cold and snowy, it's just been bad conditions. That's why I've been digging on the dump. I prefer to do this compared to the dump digging. See, there's a flake right there. I've been seeing little flakes of Coshocton too, which I would assume is Jack's Reef stuff in here with this Madison stuff. But that tip I found here it looked older to me, like archaic, so it's hard to tell what's going to come off this site. But it's another new place to look because of the Mukai kayak. See, there's another flake right there. Two flakes right here and a few steps. It's just hard to tell what I'm going to find here. So I'll get back if I see anything else. Wanted to show you the ground here. It looks awesome. This is the kind of stuff you want to look on rivers. Below a kind of a cut bank. This stuff will get all fanned out. See, there's another flake right there. There's another broken bottle that's real old. Another cork top, and there's a base of something. You can see the glass in here. Man, this looks excellent. Excellent. Well, I'll get back. If I see anything later. There's another real old strap sided whiskey flask. Busted. And it looks like it's turning purple and it's blown. That would it's probably embossed. It would have probably been a where I'm at, the bottles 
like this. A lot of them are rare. If you get these whiskey flasks, it was probably some saloon or something. That stinks. But I'll be on to an older dump here too as soon as I find where this stuff's coming from. Wanted to show you that. Later. Yeah, there's some definitely some old glass. Look at that corker. That would have been nice. Wonder what that was. It's blown too. Everything's blown here and old. Alright, I'm looking this last place. I've only picked up one piece of flint. I'm walking back to my kayak now. This will probably be it. Um, I'll probably call this a short mud lurking adventure, but it wasn't short. I've been out here at least four hours rowing and walking around looking for this stuff I found in this video. And you see, it's hard to find this stuff. I only found one point. A few other artifacts, but this is just how it goes. Um, I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. I'm going to get him and get warmed up. I am cold.